What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. This one is going to be a little bit of a special cast for a special someone out there. Yes, a viewer who requested this specific game. That hasn't happened to me very often, but one of you guys is also a supporter of Seawall.gg. Reached out, said that this was a great cast or a great game, excuse me, and hopefully it'll be a great cast. We've got HM in the top right hand corner is versus Flash down here in the bottom right. And I'm excited to watch this because I haven't seen too much Flash versus Zerg yet. Aside from that one series we did uh, with him versus Jadong. Um, side note, there is another series between him and Jadong which just happened this week. So excited to check that out as well. But for now, we're just going to be taking a look at this little set between HM and Flash. So strap in, grab yourself a snack. We're going to be going into this uh, TVZ. It should be a lot of fun. We've already got Flash getting his little wall in here. And he's been looking very strong. Like I said, we saw him versus Jadong right as he came back or right as uh, people found out that he was back. And he was looking really, really good. So not as much of a uh, rust developed in this matchup as it was for the Terran versus Protoss matchup, which is honestly not surprising at all. This is a much better matchup for Terran. Um, it's a lot harder, honestly, to play uh, Terran versus Protoss. I don't think anybody can deny that. Uh, it's it's a difficult matchup for Zerg, honestly. This one, I know some people might be molding a little bit about that but it's just the honest truth if you guys want to look at the asl statistics uh, as to you know which uh you know the win rates for uh terran versus protoss versus terran versus zerg it's not even close it's so much easier to play this matchup um and it is a little bit terran favored not a lot not a lot but it is a tiny bit terran favored especially at certain points in the game uh, as you get further and further into late game, it's, uh, it becomes, you know, more uh, Zerg favored. But, of course, less games go long. More opportunities for Terran to take out uh, Zerg in the mid game. So, let's see if HM can bring it to a mid game. I don't really know a whole lot about HM. I know he is a professional player. Um, I didn't do a whole bunch of research on him um, before this cast, but... We'll see what he can pull out here. He's already started with a nice casual opener. Nothing crazy. Just a 12 hatchery. He hasn't been un un under any pressure. He did send out an early drone to go ahead and scout. And luckily for Flash, you know, he didn't go for a CC first. So he's not going to get harassed. A factory comes down. Okay, this is what I was looking forward to. We've had some builds out of Flash. Um, mech builds that have been really interesting. We'll see if that's one of those, or is it just going to be Valkyries? Well, with the Academy coming up, I think we're going to see Valkyrie. Valkyrie likely to be the play here from Flash, but what kind of Valkyrie uh, build is it? That is the question. Are we going to have like a fantasy style uh, Valkyrie plus tank push? That would be really cool to see. Uh, when Fantasy came back into the Brood, into Brood War and, and played on ladder for a little bit, we saw some great plays out of him. It looked really strong. And some people were copying it, but it kind of fell out of style. It didn't really stick around for very long. Um, for a number of different reasons, but maybe Flash going to bring it back here. There it is. The armory is going to start. Starport's there. Engineering Bay in the natural. He will have that Valkyrie out, and we are going to have some Mutalis made here by HM. He has a Spire just finishing up now. We'll be pumping out a bunch of Mutas and trying to put on some pressure. He's not totally, uh, you know, all in or anything like that. Absolutely not. He's just going to make a few Mutas here. He has the third base on the way over in the top left natural. It's been a pretty standard play for a while now to go for the natural rather than the main base. And it's just because Zerg players have gotten a lot better at 
surviving the early game and the mid game has gotten harder. Terran players have gotten better at punishing. So it's just a bit stronger to have this already set up before that mid game happens. And then you can easily take the fourth base uh, behind it. And so Mutilus are coming forward now. Do we have the Valkyrie out just yet? I actually don't see it. Looks like that's the first Valkyrie. It's about to come out. Marines here at the front are going to get punished. Ling's actually damaging the Supply Depot and bringing it very low. He is going to be able to pick that off. So one Supply Depot going down. Kind of rough here for Flash, but it's not going to stop him from making Valkyries right now. That's the main thing that he needs to just push back this Mutalisk Clump. And as the Mutalisk gets get pushed away, ooh, he's going to dive on top of the Valkyrie. A little bit of a mistake here from Flash, but he does a great little maneuver there with the Valkyrie, pulling it away from the Mutalisk and getting a shot off at the same time, not allowing them to kill the Valkyrie and getting maximum damage. Really well done with this Valkyrie, honestly. That was some sick micro. And now he can kind of push out here. He will have a second Valkyrie in just a moment. And with the amount of bio that he's got, with two Valkyries, I don't think you can stop it with pure Mutaling. Do we have a Hydralis Den? It's not done yet, so he's going to start some sunken colonies. That's really his ticket to surviving here. A counterattack coming into the natural, but two Valkyries shoving this back really, really hard. Can't do much about that. HM just going to back away. Hoping that he can keep Flash in his natural a little bit longer. But he can't really afford to do that again. His mutas are going to get way too low. So he's built enough sunkens back at home. To where maybe he can hold this marine medic attack. As long as he's got enough sunkens here. He should be okay. Triple sunken at both base though is quite a steep price to pay. Uh, it looks like he's going to... Ooh, oh, man. I'm not sure what happened there. I think it was one Scourge hitting uh, one Valkyrie apiece. That's not the right split. That's not the split that you want. Got three Valkyries now. Let's see if he can get the connections here. If he picks off both the Valkyries or all three of the Valkyries, it could be huge. One, two, go down. A third falls. This is massive. HM killing all the Valkyries and these Marines, I don't think they can break through in top left. Could deal some damage in the natural. It seems like HM's not confident in that though. Gonna pull back the 11 meters to try and keep this top left alive. Even though there's three sunken, there's still a no, chance that with three medics you could break through this. So HM gonna take the uh, honest approach here. He's going to be care careful, cautious approach, I should should say. Let's just start whittling down these Marines so they don't have any chance of actually breaking through. And we are going to have Lurkers on the way in just a moment. Yeah, a couple of Lurkers are coming up. That Queen's Nest is on the way as well. And this play from Flash has been completely shut down. What will be the follow-up, though? Right into Mines. Still on three... Uh, barracks here still making valkyries as well well he's made one more valkyrie but now starting up science vessel production gonna go after that Ooh, man gets that as well oh that's rough so many valkyries have gone down there was a moment of brilliance from flash uh, with the initial valkyrie control but since then it's been a little bit lackluster and HM has taken control of this game. He's dealing way more damage than he should be able to against a Valkyrie player. Like, we shouldn't see at almost 10 minutes in, the Muta is still dealing damage in the natural against a player who made like four or five Valkyries. It's, it just doesn't quite make sense um, based on the way games should be going in this matchup. And we've now got Lurkers out. We've got plenty of drones hitting the field. Hive is a little late, but it makes sense considering, you know, how much was invested into Mutas and Scourge and, and also uh, Sunken Colonies as well. So he is a little late on that Hive. That's fine, though, as long as he uh, has the good number of Sunkens and some uh, Lurkers available. He should be able to hold and get into this fourth base. Meanwhile, Flash is going to take an on-location third base. I'm going to start to set up turrets in that area. 
we will have a radiate in a moment and more and more mines getting laid out around the map so relying on mines here is a little bit interesting however hm is all over that he's getting his pneumatized carapace and utilizing overlords plus muta to deal with these mines just get them out of the way so that he can potentially try to push out a little bit later on here comes that irradiate irradiate goes down at the bottom of the stack but great pull out by hm managing to get that irradiated mutas out of the stack right away not taking too much damage a second base is going to start here for flash and it's full mech transition from him very exciting stuff guys i love to see it more mech play out of flash in this matchup it's just not that typical anymore but flash makes it look very very doable command center gets slowed down a little bit hm doing a good job of eking out every little advantage he can with these mutas he's done an amazing job of harassing throughout this game so far just putting the pressure onto flash and slowing him down in a number of different ways but flash will eventually get into his game which will be that mech play however he doesn't have a fourth gas this base is gasless on some of the other maps that we've seen flash go mech is gone directly into a fourth gas and with four gases you can make a absurd number of tanks as well as vessels but in this case he's gonna have to make some sacrifices he's gonna have to make a lot of vultures and he won't have the critical gas infrastructure to make huge amounts of those very gas rich units so how many factories do we have a lot here in the main base he does add on a third machine shop so he's going to produce triple tank going forward and how will we be responding i don't like it ultra cavern is coming down for hm he's going to try to overwhelm with mass ultra which hardly ever really works it's it's hard for me to remember a time where uh the mech player ends up losing to just pure ultra it's usually in cases where the uh, zerg player is just so far ahead and it's kind of like a desperation play um for terran to go into that mech style in this case in this game it's just not the case we've got 60 drones we've got fantastic mining at all of our bases the fourth base is already online with huge 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 macro ready but you know flash is pumping away he's got the bases up he's looking pretty strong he's got a lot of mines he won't be able to stop this defiler but he can kill all the mutas i don't know why he's not killing the mutas he's gonna be able to deny this base as well and eventually he is going to get into a massive number of siege tanks he already has you know five siege tanks here he's putting the pressure on with the marines he does eat a big plague but he's got very good uh, vision around the map you can see he's covering all the lanes of attack with either mines or buildings he sees everything that's going on with hm right now and I guess HM will eventually be able to take this. Eventually he's going to be able to push things back with the Defiler, but this is great, just slowing things down because Flash is going to get this base online already. And there's that fourth gas, the all important fourth gas to really enable this insane mech play to pump out huge amounts of army. And he's already got plus two done, plus three has just started, and plus one armor is just about to finish as well. So only three factories pumping vultures. He's probably going to end up with a huge bank of minerals, especially with this mineral only base. But he will also have a massive number of tanks. He's even going to get on high ground. This is very important. The fact that he's up on high ground with four tanks right now, that is critical. It's going to be so hard to get in on this. Like we, we need a drop. We need 
a lot of different tech going. We need maybe queens uh, with broodlings. Something extra to make this work as HM because getting in here now is going to be next to impossible. There's turrets everywhere. The tanks on high ground are going to eat those ultralists alive if they end up coming out and trying to make any progress in that bottom left hand corner. That's a lot of ultras, of course. He's got 1800 gas in the bank, so nine ultras in the way and he still has 1900 gas. He's got a lot of gas. He has a lot of money to work with, but still, with mines everywhere to damage these things, now Goliath's coming out and pushing back the mutas so that the mines can actually stay uh, out on the map and tanks just spread out everywhere. How are you going to bust this man with Ultra? How is it going to happen? I just, I, I can't quite see it in my mind's eye, in my imagination. How is he actually going to break Flash here? Flash is just about to finish his plus three upgrade, his plus two armor is on the way we have some dark swarms going down of course we're gonna secure this next gas still not even close to oh pretty close to actually running out of gas there in the main base but we're not near 21 minutes so we've got plenty of time uh, to shore up our economy and get some more stuff online here comes that ultra swarm all right you can see the purple coming across the map right now is massive. This is HM's big attack. What he's been gearing up for for a very long time. Double D Matrix, triple D Matrix here at the front. The Ultras are taking a beating from all these tanks in the background, but there may not be enough mines and vultures to help this, to assist this defense. He's breaking through a little bit, but Flash is holding strong now with the tanks. Their damage adding up, the Ultralisks have been cleared more mines more tanks moving forward vultures need to get those mines in the assault path in order to block the ultras from getting across the map and dealing more damage looks like the six o'clock has been kind of uh thrown by the wayside here he's not actually defending that six o'clock anymore so quite a few scvs are liable to go down no pull from flash to get these scvs down to the bottom left maybe make some use out of them he's losing a lot of scvs but he's paying attention Primarily to getting his army out onto the field and blocking the next wave of ultras, which is likely to come. These are not full of units. Instead, just ultras running up on top of everything, getting on top of the tanks before they can fire. And this tank only got one shot off and it killed one lane. A little bit rough there for Flash um, coming up and sieging like that right in front of all those tanks. We'd probably rather have seen him go for a uh, just, just unsieged tanks, just bashing away at those ultras now with a couple of factories down here in the bottom left i think that flash will be able to sustain stay alive and split this map in half it's gonna get to a really uh, difficult position for hm pretty soon we have a lot of ultras of course uh, in all these different positions he's getting set up with sunken colonies to make sure that he doesn't just lose Tons of drones to a sudden vulture counterattack from my uh, experience. Three sunken colonies is like the magic number to stopping vulture attacks. Um, two doesn't really slow it down that much. If you've got like five uh, vultures running in, the two sunkens, they, they just don't seem to, to, to cut it. But with three sunkens, it makes it just very ineffective. Uh, vulture run buys they killed the vulture so quickly that's that's my experience um that three really does tend to um dissuade terran players from flying in with the vultures and trying to get that extra damage now a big group of tanks and vultures is down here at the bottom left but really flash doesn't need to push right now he can just sit back and wait for hm to try and take more bases if he tries to extend to the either the center left or the center uh, right did those backwards but you understand what I'm saying that's when he will need to actually take a fight with the Zerg player but he's moved out pretty far here and he's actually leaving an option for HM to dive upon this army and HM getting right in here on top of everything 
Oh man, he's gonna clear out a lot of tanks, I guess. Quite a few tanks end up going down. You can see the supplies are dropping heavily, but HM supplies staying pretty darn high with four more ultras, 15 lings on the way. Down to just 161 for Flash. Having a hard time keeping his supply high, but his army value is insane. These three two tanks are incredibly strong. Of course, we've got just about max upgrades for the ultras as well. I'm a little bit surprised we don't already have plus five armor, but that is going to come online here in a moment. Clearing mines with a single ultra, that doesn't really seem worth it, but who am I to judge? We've got a lot of ultras coming in here. That's so many tanks on the right hand side. The ultras are kind of getting bunched up here on top of all these other units. They will eventually get on top of the tanks, but they were wasting a lot of time just being shelled there. Uh, running on top of those vultures and goliaths and in the end flash holds the middle of the map and he's slowly pushing forward here with that absolutely unstoppable demeanor he just keeps on going and going and going he cannot be stopped wow queens coming in finally i didn't even see that these were being made or, or that the upgrades were being researched but there it is queens come through with the clutch save here, gonna save this base and maybe give HM an opportunity to swing a counter attack, bringing forward a lot of lings. Unseach tanks are not gonna do well against pure ling ultra. Ling ultra getting on top of all this. These tanks on the right hand side have been cordoned off and HM is falling down on top of this base in the bottom left, of course. More tanks on the high ground. He didn't pull everything out of a defensive position in order to assault there. Um, Flash leaving the majority of his forces or some of his forces at least back at home to cover himself just in case something like this were to happen. A breakthrough in the lines he will be able to save at 6 o'clock as well this time. And more tanks spreading out everywhere. Flash is still looking very good. HM was able to stop Flash from pushing across the map. But he hasn't saved himself in this game. Far from it, in fact. He still needs to take more bases, and he needs to shut down uh, Flash's attacks further. More ultras getting on top of some unseaged tanks, but you can see they're still fighting pretty well. Even though they're not sieged, just smacking down these ultras pretty handily. We'll push everything back once again, and has a good supply of tanks pushing forward to set up another big wave. Uh, here in the middle of the map. There's still a lot of queens though, and they almost have energy for another broodling Needs another 40 uh, 35 to 40 seconds more lings and ultras coming out to slow this down Dark swarm helping out quite significantly, but flash still does that damage So it's not gonna be able to stop this completely And the tanks will continue to push forward flash being a little overly aggressive though I feel coming out into the middle over and over again He's allowing the Lings and Ultras to take reasonable trades, whereas in a lot of cases when you're at 3-3 three, three mech army, um, the Z Zealot or Zerg Zergling Ultra army is just not even going to be able to get in range of your stuff. It's going to explode so quickly, uh, you won't even see it deal any damage at all. But here he's with the small groups of tanks like this. He's going to continue to lose tanks over and over again to these little groups of lings, which is never a good sign. However, this is an even worse sign here with the queens getting even more value. Another round of broodlings cleans up another big clutch of tanks. He's going to move around the side here with more queens that still have that energy to find another position that he can start to break open. Oh, the six o'clock went down. He had to lift. But 6 o'clock falling is pretty significant. I don't, I didn't see where the Ultras broke through. Quite a bit of action on the map right now. And HM is shoving everything back once again. He's actually getting on top of the tanks here at the Mineral Only. Still a long way from mining out for Flash. But he actually pulled away the tanks on the high ground. So a little moment of weakness here for Flash could be exploited. All these Lings and... The, the ultras are going to get down here. The tanks getting hit by these queens. He clears out the tanks and now diving on top of this base. This is the moment 
for HM to break through. I'm so glad he invested in the Queens as well, rather than just relying on pure Ultralisk and Ling. He's got the, the extra a bit of utility that he needs with the Queens, and GG is called. HM breaks through, fantastically done. I think that Flash maybe got a little bit too comfortable in this game. He moved out uh, a bit too crazy aggressive, trying to take the middle of the map, trying to push the issue to maybe try to take out this base. But he get he got pretty slapped down each time, taking not the greatest of trades, even against this pretty you know dismal army of Lings and Ultras. It's, it's not that great against what Flash was going for, but with the addition of the Queens a little bit later on, he was finally able to get some reasonable trades um, where the, the army value is actually going more in the favor of uh, our Zerg player, which is not what we expect to see. But he manages to clear out the bottom left. As soon as he gets on that bottom left, there's really no hope left for Flash. More bases were coming up on the left and right. This is what I wanted to see from Flash was just holding the positions at these two high grounds here as well. Lots of turrets, everything all locked down. And then as soon as HM tries to take either this base or this base, moving to over here to take out the bases and just shutting them down, keep them shut down and just don't allow him to mine from those extra bases. And eventually the Zerg player was going to mine out. Um, just not uh, not quite well enough executed here by uh, by by Flash. I guess the Flash maybe some cracks are showing here. Maybe he's not uh, fully in his element just yet. Even in this matchup, HM able to make that Ultralist Link composition work. That's again one of the few times that I've seen it in the last year or so actually work against a Terran player, but uh, who is going mech play. But Flash, you know, he kind of messed up, man. I can't, I don't know what else to say. I think uh, there are some things that he could have done better for sure. Uh, I know that he's going to continue to improve, though, continue to grow as a player. And we'll be there to watch and see how he evolves. And whether he sticks with this style of mech uh, as he's been doing lately on the channel or not, remains to be seen i hope he finds a way to make it work though anyway guys that's it for today's daily dose thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow